wondered how to get your iPad to stop downloading into your iCloud drive? If you have, you're in luck because that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Now, those of us who work on the iPad a lot and use it for creative tasks have found out that one of the major annoyances with it is dealing with the file structure. And yes, that's gotten a lot better since iOS 13 became iPadOS, and it's really helped us out to have a better file structure, but it's still not like what we were used to working with back when we were on a desktop or laptop computer. And one of those issues is downloads. So we've got Safari that acts as a full desktop browser now, which is great. It really helps us out. Now we can do downloads in a much easier way than we used to be able to do a couple years ago. We can just go to a website, we can download. There's a download list in Safari, super helpful. Right, but one thing that is really annoying is that the iPad defaults to putting downloads on your iCloud storage. And if you're a normal person, you only have five gigabytes of iCloud storage because you don't pay Apple for it. As a bunch of people subscribe to Apple One, maybe that will change, but I don't know. iCloud is just not the best cloud storage at this point in the game, although it is really convenient. But you might not want to fill up your entire iCloud space with downloads. So let me show you how to set it up so that the downloads go straight onto your iPad. And they're there, you don't need the internet to access them. Simple, right? So the first thing that we're going to do is open up the settings app. On the settings app, we're just going to go into the search and we're just going to type in downloads. One of the great things is being able to search for a setting. You don't have to know where it is. You just have to know a word that's related to it, like downloads. And in this case, we're just going to choose Safari downloads. So we're going to go in here and you can see right now it's set to download into iCloud. The reason it's doing this now is I recently had to reset the settings on my iPad to try and get some things working again. And so it defaulted back to doing this, which is pretty annoying. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this to do it on my iPad. And now that it's set to on my iPad, it will just go into the downloads folder that is stored on my iPad. Super easy, convenient, way to go. It's a good idea to go through and clear your downloads folder out from time to time, just because you can get a lot of junk in there, a lot of font files that you've already installed, stock images that you've already used, those kinds of things. Try and make sure that you get this cleared out, especially if you have a limited amount of space on your iPad. I hope that you found this tip helpful for using your iPad better. It's really important that we find ways to use our iPad well for our creative work. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment letting me know what other things you would like to learn to do better on your iPad. Thanks so much for watching. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.